Great. You gonna check in on Freya? Yes. Glad I get to come this time. <laughs> so what happened the last time you were in Vanaheim? I still don't know how you got Freya to stop trying to kill you. We traveled to her village to break Odin's spell. Once freed, she accepted that I was not her enemy. You also missed a highly entertaining moment where Brock was lifted ass over face in Freya's camp. You met Freya? What's he like? Different from his sister. Lacks her conviction. True. But he's a bit quicker to forgive. And an ineffective leader. But his heart's in the right place. You'll like him, lad. Wow. It's beautiful. And, uh, wet. It is also dangerous. More dangerous than hell? What's this thing? Some kind of altar? I do not know. Freya's camp is to the right. No rush, is that? Not every day the lad gets to see a new realm. Oh dear. What? Nothing, it's just... We're not far from Freya's wedding site. It was a delightful day. Aside from her brother's outburst, of course. That sounds pretty personal. Think you should go there with Freya? Uh, not a bad idea, that. See these settlements before they fell apart? Aye, beautiful they were. A thriving river community, helping pilgrims on their way to the Great Shrine. Oh, almost a mercy Freya's not around to see the state of it. To Freya's camp, then. Time to see how the Vanier have fared in our absence. I hope Freya's okay. She can care for herself. We're still checking on her, though? Her brother's forces are outnumbered. And there is much I owe her. We have a Vanaheim song I heard long ago. No one here. Where is everyone? Stay alert. I don't like this, brother. Kratos, Atreus, a welcome reunion. Unexpected, but welcome. You know us? Can't be. Is that who I think? Oh, you shifty bastard. It's almost good to see you again. And for once in the shape of a man, or 
Nearly. So that's how they got your head out of your ass. Maybe now you'll stop being such a half-blind, piss-drunk, oversexed liar. He was more of a pig than I ever was. I do not know you. Do you not recognize your handiwork? Hildis Vini! Remember when we first met Freya in the woods? After I... Oh... I am so, so sorry about that. Freya's boar. Her advisor. And friend. Counselor to the Vanir. And yes, while exiled at Midgard, I was trapped in my boar form. And then you shot me. At my command. No. My arrow, my mistake. Forgotten. Vanaheim needs our help more than ever. Even Mimir's. Come. Just watch where you aim that bow of yours. My hide's not so thick in this form. We can head out whenever you're ready. Where are we going? I have a favor to ask. I'll explain on the way. We forgot something! We'll come back, promise. She came here to help her brother. She leads the search party for Freyr and Bigvir. They've been captured by the Einherjar. How did that happen? An ambush. Their presence has intensified since your last visit. To make matters worse, the Celestial Wolves haven't been seen in days. Or at least I assume. Not easy, tracking time with no moon in the sky. No moon. Just like in their shrine. Their shrine? It's a long story. You want us to check on them? You have my gratitude. We're spread thin, and if anyone can help Skoll and Hati, he'd be a fellow giant. Very well. Freya mentioned you had a way past this. <laughs> you don't disappoint. Continue down this path, and you'll find their dead. Good luck. And don't shoot any boars. <laughs> I think he's really forgiven me for shooting him. Trust me, lad. The old swine still carried a grudge. You'd know it. What happened between you two? <laughs> the usual. Miscommunication, conflicting loyalties, broken promises. Nothing to concern yourself with. I'm not concerned. Just curious. Curiosity's all well and good. But so is privacy, huh? Okay, okay. Point taken.
Jotunheim looks and feels so different from the other realms. It's warm, like Svartalfheim, but there's a kind of thickness in the air. Hmm. Egros. Uh, what? Egros. Greek. For humid. Egros. I like it. <clears throat> Find the Noki! Making these things stronger! <laughs> This excursion into Vanai means you've now visited each of the Nine Realms. Huh. Guess you're right. Not many mortals can claim such a feat. Not many gods either. Even your father has yet to grace the halls of Asgard. I'm in no hurry to do so. Hilda's Vini said both Frey and Bigvir were captured. Bigvir's the light elf who wanted to learn more about that library in Alfheim, right? Correct. An exiled scholar married to a warrior, Baylor. Why was he exiled? You'll have to ask him for the full tale. But I take it that he and Baylor's quest to unite their people was frowned upon. Wait, Baylor's a dark elf? Yes. Wow. Well, that raises even more questions. Hope he's okay. Hey, there you are, Barricades. <gasps> Aye, not a good sign. They've pushed farther into the jungle since our last visit. Amir, you once told us Ragnarok begins when Skull and Hati catch the sun and moon, right? I said it was foretold, lad. Prophecy. Which, after our time with the Norns, we've all had quite enough of. I can sense them up there. It's gotta be their den. 
Excited to meet Skull and Hattie, lad. I mean, I've heard all your stories. It's gonna be weird meeting them in person. Legend meeting reality. At the very least, it shouldn't fail to entertain. Uh, hello? I think they're sleeping. Well, there you have it. The legendary celestial wolves. Supremely entertaining, as promised. Remember their shrine? They didn't rejoin the sky until after the moon returned. And then chased an arrow across the sky. Right. Well, best we go find the moon and put it back where it belongs, eh? As if that's a perfectly normal thing to say. The Aenar Yar played a part according to Skull and Hati Shrine. Managed to stuff the moon inside a box, if memory serves. But it didn't say where they took the box. Aye, that's the rub of using prophecy as a map, isn't it? Bit sparse on the details. There's a war camp in the nearby village. A strong fortress to guard their bounty. We should try that first. <gasps> so besides Hildas Vini and the elves, who else was part of Freyr's army? Not much army, really. Although Beergirl was a soldier, once walking the path of a traveler. I imagine he's handy with that enormous broken sword of his. A traveler that doesn't want to kill us. That's nice. Use it, you oh. oh. Careful, brother. You're covered in my rod. believe no one's here. They hide. The Vanir aren't all hardened warriors <laughs> like our dear Freya. Those who survive the warfare find it easier to hide in the jungle and use nature as their shield. <laughs> this wall, when I bring it down, we strike. Yep. Uh... Empty. Where'd they all go? Wait, there's the moon. This is definitely an ambush. Yes. Look out! Oh, fuck! Shoot, sir! Oh! 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 Right side! <laughs> 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 
Hoping that puts a dent in Odin's forces, at least for the time being. I don't think Asgard's running out of soldiers anytime soon. Ready to put the moon back where it belongs? Okay, yeah. That is a weird thing to say. Hey! Hurry! She's getting away! Come on! A double ambush? Okay, did you see that coming? Yeah. <laughs> On your left! <laughs> 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 Another ambush? Really? Third time's the charm. They are not smart. I and there's that. You know, what we're doing right now, all of this, it's almost exactly how we saw it play out back in Skull and Hati Shrine. The wolves are back in Vanaheim. We're rescuing the moon. Yes. I remember the prophecy. So, doesn't it make you worried? Everything we're doing now happened in the Yonar Shrine. Remember our agreement. Prophecy will not dictate our actions. Yeah. Our allies need help. That is our focus now. Oh! 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 
Launching arrows! <laughs> Old. Is this? It's from Helheim. Timed almost to grab this while I freed Garm. Ah, uh, I was there, but I, I didn't know. And now you fight to undo the damage. Your guilt is misplaced. Yeah. No, you, you're right. Father. How are you so sure we even have a choice about what we're doing? Doubt is a weakness we cannot afford. Who said anything about doubt? So far, we've done everything the Giants said we would. We make our own choices. Nothing forces us. Ender Yard, on the left! <laughs> What if, by doing all this, what if we're walking straight into Ragnarok? Isn't there any way to avoid fate? Your fate? What if we can't stop you from... Would you turn your back on the wolves? On this realm? Remember our agreement. The lad does make some good points, though. As long as Atreus lives, so be it. There's nothing. like inside their shrine. If I do this... Fate only binds you if you let it. Do what is necessary. Not because it is written. Good choice, lad. They have a gift for us. A way to call them anytime we need them. Looks like they want us to use it at one of the altars. Huh. Perhaps Freya will know. So in essence, they just gave us the keys of dusk till dawn. Not bad for a day's work. We should head back to Hildespini and tell him about all this. Yeah? Yes. Back to the camp. Look out! Got him! Hold her! <laughs> 
one from earlier, was it? No. They come back fast, but not that fast. In Asgard, what else did you see of Odin's army? Well, all these Anhuriyar we've been fighting, they've already died in battle once. We kill them here, and they'll just wake back up in Valhalla. They never truly die. Should it come to war, we do well to have our own endless army of dead soldiers. You mean Helheim's army, like the prophecy said. It will not come to that. the egros so we report back to hilda's fini then what we came here to help freya we will not leave without rescuing her brother and the light elf okay but odin's not going to stop searching for mask pieces that is his concern, not ours. Sure, but if that mask offers all the answers... Then it will surely exact a price. Be wary of shortcuts to knowledge. Yes, Father.
Do all the plants you want to kill us? No, no. Only the carnaptious ones. Ah, that wrinkly mug belongs to Helka. She's a blowsinder. Hounds prized for their pinpoint accurate tracking abilities. You'll love her. Kratos, Atreus. That eclipse was your doing, I take it. Thank you for coming. Big Vir used the diversion to escape. What about your brother? We know where they're holding him now. Bela's already prepped the explosives. If you're with me, we can leave as soon as you're ready. I could use another shapeshifter's help. Go with him, Atreus. I will aid Freya. Yes, sir. The I can stoke the fires parties. of those chain Not blades me. for you. I want to see the signal found it down. Appreciate it. Come, Kratos. We should get moving. Hot blades coming up! I've never seen anything like that before. Yeah. That just sort of happened when we freed the moon. I've seen a lot of weird things, but a moon in a box was on a whole... The wolves gave us a scepter. They will answer, should we call on them. Good. There's a shortcut to Niord's temple we can use in daylight. The Einher Yar are holding fair in your father's own temple. It's been empty for as long as I can remember. There's a celestial altar across the river. According to Bigvir, the altars were once used to signal the wolves. And now we have just the scepter to do it. What is your plan? When we reach the temple, I'll fire off the beacon. A signal for Bela and Birger to set off their distraction. The Dark Elf Hive. Nice to not be on the receiving end of it for once. With their attention drawn elsewhere, you and I can assault the main force from behind. While Atreus and Hildesfini slip in to rescue your brother in the confusion. Yes. Once we see their beacon, we'll regroup by the river and escape on prayer's door. Yalpha! <laughs> Oh! 
Advantages are many. You must stop that Noken from singing. Let's go! 
Try dragging the scepter across the bell a few times. Come on, we're making good time. Our actions in this realm follow the prophecy of the giants. Atreus believes Ragnarok is inevitable. The Norns were quite clear on the nature of prophecy. They told us the sum of our choices were predictable. But we have changed. Watch your not to walk that path. Back when we first met, I doubt you'd have done the same. And you? Do you still seek Ragnarok? Odin has much to answer for. If Groa's prophecy is correct, perhaps my realm can finally know peace. Perhaps I can know peace. Forgive me for being a head on a belt, but haven't we all just established how prophecy is pure havers? <sighs> God's the man. What? the most annoying man alive. <laughs> The Norn said you'd kill Heimdall, but you chose not to walk that path. Back when we first met, I doubt you'd have done the same. And you? Do you still seek Ragnarok? Odin has much to answer. If Groa's prophecy is correct, perhaps my realm can finally know peace. Perhaps I can know peace. Forgive me for being a head on a belt, but haven't we all just established how prophecy is pure havers? God, Samir. What? The most annoying man alive. <laughs> More up ahead. On your mark. Shield strike now! Oh. 
This way. Alas, we're on Neathog. It was in our way. Aye, I don't doubt it. Curious, though. What was she doing here? Odin used roots of the World Tree as part of his spell that kept me from leaving Midgard. Neathog protects the tree's roots wherever they are. Ah, I see. Odin used her. And she unwittingly paid the price. Classic Odin. extra noise once the assault begins. If we distract them long enough, Hildespini and Atreus will have more than enough time to get in and out undetected. I am not worried for Atreus. He is ready to fight on his own. This is it. There's an altar behind these vines. <laughs> Call on Skull, please. Are you ready? I am. Are you? I'm not leaving here without my brother. <laughs> We're coming for you, Ingvi. position <laughs> what idiots no oh. if it isn't queen mistletoe herself hilarious by the way been a while i'm dull <laughs> and you must be the little half-breed's father lucky day <laughs> You have a lot to answer for, Sunshine. You too, traitor. Better a traitor than Odin's lapdog. Hmm. <laughs> well, the burden is mine. I can help. I know. But you are needed elsewhere. He's right, you know. Sizzles wasn't looking so hot last I saw. I know you didn't want this. But we know how this ends. See you soon. Well, we both know that's not true. <laughs> but don't worry, Frigg. I'll be coming for you and your brother as soon as I am finished here. Now, what you got? <laughs> Have some Vibra on me! <laughs> Come on, animal! Your reputation, 
I thought I would at least break a sweat. Whoa! What did Ghoul's Hope Forever do to you? Oh! Did you want some more? Ah! 